Now, 5 lakhs of assured coverage annually while government servants and pensioners to get a coverage up to 20 lakhs for the families under a newly launched scheme. Following Dimapotri uprooting incident, district administration asked all street vendors along stretch of Naga Shopping Arcade to immediately shift to the newly inaugurated supermarket marketing shed. Meanwhile, DC Sachin Jaiswal also informs that cutting of all trees from Nagarjan Police Station to Walford Petrol Pump to go on from 17th October till 24th October. Pilgrim Higher Secondary School of Nagaland beats Government Model Higher Secondary School of Chandigarh by 1 by 0 to win the 61st Subroto Cup International Football Tournament in Boys Under 17 group at Dr. Ambedkar Stadium in National Capital. Ishan Konyak awarded as the best goalkeeper with Rs 25,000 cash prize. CM Rio hails the achievement of young Naga footballers. On the second day of her Assam visit, President Draupati Murmu virtually inaugurates several government projects and schemes in Guwahati. The President also flag off a train from Guwahati to Lamding up to Shokhuvland, Meghalaya's Mendi Pathar. Enforcement Directorate conduct raids at least 25 locations in Delhi in connection to the Delhi excise policy. Federal agencies have alleged that irregularities were made while modifying the excise policy, including undue favours to the licence holders. Welcome to Nagaland TV. You're watching NLTV News Now and now the news in detail. With the aim to provide free and cashless benefits to the common people of the state for treatment of different ailments, Nagaland government on Friday launched the Chief Minister Health Insurance Scheme. The launch program held at the State Banquet Hall in Kohima's Chief Minister Residential Complex launching the scheme. Chief Minister Nefurio said that under the scheme, a family will be provided assured coverage of Rs 5 lakhs per year. The scheme will be available through a wide network of nearly 28,000 Ayushman Bharat empaneled hospitals across the country. Government servants and pensioners will have a coverage of up to Rs 20 lakh per family and also have access to nearly 1,500 CGH empaneled hospitals. While Minister for Health and Family Welfare S. Pang Nyo Pong called the day a historic one for Nagaland and a remarkable achievement for the state. Rio said that his government has initiated CMHS as Nagaland's first state-specific welfare scheme covering all sections of the society, especially those who are not eligible for under the Ayushman Bharat Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana. Notably, permanent or indigenous residents of the state who are not covered under any other public-funded health insurance scheme will be eligible for the benefit under the scheme. To avail benefits, one can self-register via online by logging on to EMH cmhisnagaland.gov.in. Further, one can also physically visit any authorized registration center for the same. Government has also opened a toll-free helpline number which is 14555 for any inquiry-related issues. to launch the Chief Minister Health Insurance Scheme, which will extend the coverage of insurance benefit over and above those being covered under the Honorable Prime Minister Ayushman Bharat Scheme. It is a state-specific welfare scheme and under which our people will have an insurance of better access to healthy services in healthcare than they had ever had before. The scheme provides for an insured coverage 
of up to rupees 5 lakhs for almost every illness requiring hospitalization. These schemes will be available throughout a wide network of nearly 2,000 and 28,000 Ayushman Bharat in Penalt Hospital across the country. Government servants and pensioner, pensioners will have a coverage of up to rupees 20 lakhs per family and also have access to nearly 1,500 CTSS in panel hospitals. A remarkable achievement is made today in the history of Nagaland by launching the Chief Minister's Health Insurance Scheme. People with the least means not only have greater health problems but are less accessible to health care due to unaffordability of hospitalization expenses. The Chief Minister's Health Insurance Scheme. Nagaland, which is one of among the first state specific welfare scheme covering every section of the society. The scheme would be instrumental in mitigating the risks of embarrassment resulting from hospitalization expenses and to promote access to quality healthcare services and accelerate state's progress towards an universal health coverage. Over the supermarket tree incident which took place in Dimapur, the Deputy Commissioner of Dimapur, Sachin Jaswal, on Thursday informed all the vegetable vendors and street vendors along the stretch of Naga Shopping Arcade of Dimapur to immediately shift to the newly inaugurated marketing shed located at supermarket area from the date of issue of the notification. It is to be mentioned that strict action will be imposed if anyone violates the rule. Meanwhile, Jaswal also informed the general public that cutting of trees from Naga Garjan Police Point to Walford Patrol Pump will start from 17 October till the 24th October. Therefore, the advisory has been issued in order to carry out the work without any hindrance. It is to be further mentioned that all vehicular movement will remain suspended from Old Dhan Siri Bridge till Naharjan Police Point from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. from 17 to 24 October, along with total power shutdown from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. for consumers residing in supermarket area. Circuit House area and Bank Colony. Furthermore, it also notified to all concerned public that any type of cables or wires strung between the trees within the stretch of Naga Shopping Arcade to immediately remove before 16 October. Notably, general public are requested to avoid using the said roads during the execution of the work. Nokhu Range Students Union initiated its first phase educational tour for the year 2022 to 2023 from 10th to 13th October within Nokhu jurisdiction and visited five government schools on the theme Re Redefining Responsibilities. The union held meeting with concerned village council school management committee, teaching faculties, church leaders and local students body and discussed the issues faced by the institutions and appealed all organization to collectively work for the students. The union witnessed various problems faced by the schools like shortage of teachers in all schools, insufficient classrooms accompanied by inadequate 
black board and white board. It is to be mentioned that the union provided a wall clock to each of the schools to signify the necessity of efficient time management and also introduced pick me box for donation to help those students who struggles to buy basic study materials. The union also urged the institutions to materialize and effectively implement the pick me box Quoting, a small act of kindness creates an endless ripple. The union also urged the local churches to conduct prayer for the students and teachers at school premises once in every month. President Mr. P. Xingyang opined that the schools are basic foundation on the which the life of the students will be firmly built and appealed to the concerned department and state government to genuinely look into the depleting government schools in villages in the villages hello everyone my name is Tang Mong I am the educational and statistical secretary of Nuku Ren Students Union uh, we have recently concluded our educational tour which was based on the resolution and we have traveled the different villages under Nuku Ranch jurisdiction under the theme Redefining Responsibilities. This Redefining Responsibilities was meant to implement a concept uh, under this for the educational institutions as well as the village community as a whole to deviate from the traditional view of uh, teaching and learning process which only involves the students and the teacher. So the concept was brought in in order to bring together the different organizations under the uh, village, such as the churches, the public organization, the village councils, and the students' union in molding the students' life. We have traveled these uh, five villages and have witnessed so many uh, loopholes in different institutions some of which we have seen shortages of teachers in almost all the five institutions. We have also seen poor infrastructure, such as unavailability of blackboards or whiteboards, and also insufficient classrooms. To facilitate routine maintenance of 132 kilowatt bus bar along with 132 by 66 kilowatt 100 megavolt amperes transformer and 132 by 33 kV 100 megavolt amperes transformer, the power department has informed that there would be power shutdown at Nahargan substation on October 15 from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. It is to be mentioned that four districts, Dimapur, Chumukadima, Newland, and Perin, will be affected. The department has sought cooperation from everyone. In honor of Azadi Kamrit Mahatsav and to pay homage to martyrs, the Army Service Corps Tornadoes are riding through the northeastern states on motorcycles under the command of Captain A.S. Garewal. The team includes one officer, two junior commissioned officers and 16 other ranks. It is to be mentioned that the team started their journey on October 1 from Tejpur and reached Dimapur on day 12 of their expedition from Lake Am Lema Kong Manipur, en route from Lema Kong to Rangapahar military station in Dimapur. Tornadoes paid homage to Captain Kangrusus in VC at his native village of Ner Nerema. Notably, after an overnight halt at Rangapahar on October 12, the team paid homage to Martis at the War Memorial Rangapahar military station and was flagged off on October 13 by Liu Lieutenant General Asi Tiwari. An orientation for line department nodal officers on people's plan campaign on Gram Panchayat development plan was held at the conference hall of the RD Directorate in Kohima on Thursday. The purpose of the orientation program was to avoid duplication of schemes. The orientation program was graced by Rural Development Joint Director and State Nodal Officer for Gram Panchayat Development Plan K 
Neba S. Sikhosi as the chairman. The commissioner and secretary in rural development Neposo Thelwo informed that different departments will implement their own schemes, but the ministry has to has to direct it have a common planning body. Neposo also stressed on the need for setting up of village planning and facilitation team for proper functioning of GPDP. Around 23 officials, including 14 from different line departments, including school, education, fisheries, PWD, veterinary, PHED, art and culture, forest and new renewable and energy, minority affairs, agriculture, industries, women resource, food and civil supplies, and employment skill development, and entrepreneurship attended the training. It may be mentioned that the People's Plan campaign is an ongoing activity for Gram Panchayat Development Plan, which began on September 12 and will conclude on January 31, 2023. Pilgrim Higher Secondary School of Nagaland beat Government Model Higher Secondary School of Chandigarh by 1 by 0 to win the 61st Subroto Cup International Football Tournament, boys under 17 at Dr. Bhimrao Ambedkar Stadium in the national capital. The winners received Grand Trophy from Air Marshal, Air Chief Marshal, V. R. Chaudhary, who was the chief guest, and the team was awarded with Rs. 3,50,000, including trophy and citations, while the Runners up received rupees 2 lakh 2 lakh. Notably, Ishan Konyak was awarded as the best goalkeeper with rupees 25,000 cash prize. Nagaland team was led by Vice President of Nagaland Football Association Maghato Ai as the coach and Aki Hito Jimo as the manager. Meanwhile, advisor for youth resources and sports engineer Zale Nekha congratulated the team for winning the prestigious trophy and appreciated the hard work of the young players. While Chief Minister Nefirio also congratulated the team for winning the prestigious trophy. A memorandum of understanding was signed between Oil India Limited and five leading universities of Northeast regions, namely Guwahati University, Dibruga University, Manipur University, Nagaland University, and Rajiv Gandhi University at Oil India Limited's field headquarters in Dulyajan, Assam, on Wednesday. The ceremony was graced by Chairman and Managing Director of Oil, Dr. Ranji Drath, and other prominent representatives of the participating universities. The MOU aims to enhance the collaboration between industry and colleges, which will result in research and development in the region. The top contender for Congress presidential poll, Malikarna Karge, Karge, on Thursday reacted to Congress leader Shashi Tharoor's uneven playing field remark, said that there are no differences between them by saying they are brothers and that they belong from the same family that is Congress. Karge further mentioned that instead of complaining to each other, they would rather complain to Narendra Modi and Amit Shah regarding inflation, unemployment and other issues. Karge further alleged that degrading dragging Gandhi's family name in this poll is BJP's conspiracy to defame them and some people are encouraging it. Notably, Shashi Tharoor and Malik Arjun Kharge are up against each other in the race for the post of Congress president. The election for the Congress's top leadership is slated to conclude on October 17. Earlier, Tharoor lamented that some leaders had openly come out in support of his poll opponent, Malik Arjun, Malik Arjun Kharge and even summoned meetings in his favor, saying it disturbed the level playing field. He also claimed that several PCC and chiefs and senior leaders were not available for a meeting with him during his visits to their respective states, but they warmed up to Kharge when he visited them seeking support. No, no, no. 
कि हम में झगड़ा लगाने की बात मत कर क्योंकि हम दोनों भाई भाई हैं एक ही पार्टी में रहते हैं कोई अपनी बात अलग ढंग से कर सकता है मैं अपने विचार अलग ढंग से रख सकता हूँ तो उसमें कोई हमारे में उनमें कोई भेद नहीं तो वो भी हमारे घर के हमारे फैमिली मेंबर्स हैं कांग्रेस पार्टी के तो शिकायत मेरे को शिकायत करने की पहले से आदत नहीं है मैं शिकायत उनसे करता हूँ मोदी से अपने शाह से भाई शिकायत हम दोनों मिलके उनसे करना चाहिए चाहे इन्फ्लेशन पे हो चाहे अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट पे हो चाहे रुपए का मूल्य गिर रहा है उसके बारे में हो जो ये चीज़ें जो है जनरल जनता को जो अफेक्ट कर रही है उसके ऊपर हम दोनों मिलके लड़ना है हमारे साथ सभी को लेके चलना है करना ये मैं समझूंगा कि उनको डिफेम करने के लिए सारी साजिश बीजेपी चला रही है और चंद लोग उसको प्रोत्साहन दे रहे हैं इसीलिए मैं ये कंडम करता हूँ ऐसे विचार को कि उन्होंने किसी के लिए ना कहा उन्होंने फ्री बोला कि तुम इलेक्शन लड़ो कोई भी लड़के आओ वो सभी हमारे लोग ही है ये उनका पहले से कहना है Amid the ongoing excise policy case, the Enforcement Directorate on Friday raided at least 25 locations in Delhi. Notably, Central Bureau of Investigation registered a case to probe an alleged scam in the framing and implementation of the excise policy and issued a look-out circular against eight people. The federal agencies have alleged that irregularities were made while modifying the excise policy, including undue favors to the license holders, a loss of rupees. 144.36 crore have been caused to the exchequer following the alleged scam ec The Election Commission of India is all set to hold a press conference for reportedly the election schedule announcement of assembly elections in Gujarat and Himachal Pradesh on Friday. Notably, the poll body has convened a press conference at 3 p.m. It is to be mentioned that the term of the Gujarat Assembly ends on February 18 next year, while that of Himachal Pradesh on January 8, 2023. It may be mentioned that in the 182-seated Gujarat Assembly, there are 111 BJP and 62 Congress MLAs at present. Meanwhile, last month, the Chief Election Commissioner Rajiv Kumar and Election Commissioner Anup Chandra Pandey visited Gujarat and Himachal to review poll preparedness. Indira Gandhi International Airport received a threatening mail warning in Delhi bound flight from Moscow on Thursday. Following the threat, the security agencies and airport security were put on alert. Officials in informed that the flight was to arrive at Delhi airport at 3.20 a.m. on Friday and it was checked at Indira Gandhi International Airport after its arrival. Around 386 passengers and 16 crew members were deboarded from the flight. The, legal, the luggages of all the passengers were checked, SOPs were following and the aircraft is currently in isolation bay.
On day two of her Assam visit, Draupadi Murmu, the President of India, inaugurated and laid the foundation stones of various projects of union ministries and government of Assam. President Murmu also flagged off a train from Guwahati to Lamding up to Shokhovi in Nagaland and Mendi Pathar in Meghalaya's attending a program held at Guwahati's Srimantar Shankar Kala Khetra. Kala Khetra. The president laid the foundation stone of 2,000 Anganwadi centers and 100 tea schools, tea garden schools. During the program, Murmu inaugurated a rail-fed petroleum storage depot of Indian Oil Corporation at Moinar Bond in Silchar. The program was graced by Governor Professor Jagdish Mukhi, Chief Minister of Assam Himanta Bishwa Sharma, Finance Minister of Assam Ajanta Niyog, and several other dignitaries. Earlier, President, who is on her maiden visit to Assam, offered prayers at Kamaika Temple in the morning hours. <laughs> पूर्वोत्तर क्षेत्र सहित आसाम भारत के आप इस पॉलिसी का केंद्र बिंदु मुझे यह जानकर खुशी हुई है कि केंद्र सरकार इस क्षेत्र में बुनियादी ढांचे और कनेक्टिविटी पर विशेष ध्यान दे रही है असम का विकास पूरी पूर्वोत्तर क्षेत्र के लिए विकास का इंजन हो सकता है केंद्रीय सड़क परिवहन और राजमार्ग मंत्रालय के भारत माता परियोजना के तहत देश भर में माल ढुलाई और लोगों की आवाहजी को और अधिक सुगम बनाने के लिए लगभग पैंतीस हजार किलोमीटर सड़क इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर को ज़्यादा प्रभावी और मजबूत करने की महत्वाकांक्षा की जा जाना है इसमें असम तथा तो पूर्वोत्तर क्षेत्र का हिस्सा पाँच हजार किलोमीटर का है आज मुझे इंडियन ऑयल कॉरपोरेशन लिमिटेड द्वारा स्थापित सिल्चर में बने आधुनिक डिपो का उद्घाटन करने के विशेष प्रसन्नता हो रही है मुझे बताया गया है कि इस डिपो के द्वारा संपूर्ण बारा घाटी के साथ साथ त्रिपुरा मणिपुर और मिजोरम पेट्रोलियम उत्पादों की आवश्यकताओं को भी पूरा करने में मदद कर मिलेगी इसी यात्रा को आगे बढ़ाते हुए आज मुझे गुवाहाटी से नागालैंड के सकोवी और मेघालय के मेहंदी पाथर तक ट्रेन को फ्लागअप करने विशेष प्रसन्नता हो रही है कल मुझे त्रिपुरा में अगरतला को गुवाहाटी और कलकत्ता तक तथा तो मणिपुर के संग संग तक तो जोड़ने के लिए नई रेल रूट की शुरुआत करने का अवसर मिला आज आज्ञा थ्री तक पर तक मॉडर्न कार्गो का कोचिंग टर्मिनल का शिलान्यास भी किया गया है मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है कि इन प्रोजेक्ट से व्यापार और आवागमन की सुविधा के साथ साथ इस क्षेत्र में टूरिज्म की संभावनाएं भी बढ़ी World Wildlife Fund on Thursday released the latest Living Planet report and stated that the wildlife populations on Earth has witnessed a 69% drop between 1970 and 2018. The situation is grim for biodiversity on Earth as various factors are responsible for the decline. WWF India Program Director Dr. Sejal Vora said that the population of honeybees and 17 species of turtles has declined significantly in India. Vora Sarah further added that Himalayan region and the Western Ghats are the most vulnerable regions to biodiversity loss. Meanwhile, WWF India Secretary General Ravi Singh said that the projects like the recent cheetah translocation are good in preservation of species and projects like Project Tiger and One Horned Rhino have seen success. Furthermore, this year's report stated that 32,000 species, population of 5,230 species with 838 species and just over 11,000 new populations added. The report also stated that habitual degradation and loss, exploitation and population, climate change and disease are some of the key drivers in wildlife population decline.
Amid the rising tension between Russia and Ukraine, things are further worsening as Russian Security Council on Thursday has clearly warned that if Ukraine joins the United States, led North Atlantic Treaty Organization Military Alliance, then the conflict in Ukraine would escalate into World War III. Russian news agency TASS quoted that the Deputy Secretary of Russia's Security Council, Alexander Venediktov, said that Kyiv is well aware that such a step would mean a guaranteed escalation to World War III. Venediktov further added that Ukraine joining NATO is a suicidal step, and even NATO members themselves understand that. Notably, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on September 30 made a surprise application for fast-tracked membership in NATO for following the Russian President Putin's proclamation of up to 18% of Ukraine. Although Ukraine's request of obtaining full NATO membership still looks quite far away as consent of all the 30 members are required. That is all for now. Keep watching Nagaland TV for more news and updates. अरे तूने अभी तक कुछ किया ही नहीं? अरे ये तो लो क्वालिटी टंकी है। ओशारी मत दिखाओ दुकानदार ने पांच साल की गारंटी दी है। अरे पांच साल छोड़िए इसका पानी पिएंगे ना तो बहुत जल्दी हम लोग पहुंचेंगे। अंदर का सरफेस प्लेन स्मूथ और प्योर वाइट भी नहीं है। आप ये काम क्यों नहीं करते? निपको ताज का